From the WBBZ TV studio, it's time to play. Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. Hey everybody, John DeShula with you on the special edition of Bragging Rights. It's been a year since we've been to Dirt Cheap TV, 1600 Niagara Falls Boulevard, across from Trader Joe's. And you know why? Because now it's time to give away from all those teams that played bragging rights during the course of 2018 on our last season of shows. Every winning team becomes eligible for three large screen, 50 inch LED, 50 inch Westinghouse televisions right here from Dirt Cheap TV. You hear me talk about it on the show all the time. Well, now we're here with Jerry Wild and his crew. And in this bowl, we have all the uh, computer slips from all the shows that have aired on WBBZ TV in 2018. So all those winning teams are here. We're gonna make that selection later in the show. You hear me talk about Dirt Cheap TV, cheaper than internet pricing right here in Western New York. Longtime sponsor of this show, Beat the Champ, and all the other shows on WBBZ, your hometown MeTV station. But who are the guys that run Dirt Cheap TV? The guys and the girls are here all the time. We're going to introduce you to one of them. It's Mike Luna. Mike, welcome to Bragging Rights. Hi, thank you. Good. Hey, Mike, when someone comes in and they come to Dirt Cheap TV, they walk in and they see all of these televisions. What are they going to find when they come in? Uh, a, a huge selection of sizes, anywhere from 19 all the way up to 80 inch, uh, between smart and non-smart, 4K TVs, things like that. So you got everything you could possibly want in a television. You say you have the smaller televisions. These are perfect for bedrooms and kitchens and to supplement, uh, or you know, in the living room if you need it. And then the bigger TVs are people when they buy them, they are they putting them on the wall. They where do they put these TVs when they get when they, when they come in? Yeah, I mean, some people are putting the 19s in a bathroom, even a bedroom, things like that. Uh, the bigger TVs are going in their living rooms or even bars and restaurants, things like that. And you say that it's cheaper than internet pricing, and it's really the best deal in Western New York. If someone's looking for television, they have to come to Dirt Dirt Cheap TV. Absolutely. I mean, we really have uh, great pricing on all different size TVs. And you'll help them with the technology. You know, somebody like myself, a little techno technologically challenged, you'll help us out with what it means to be like HDMI and, and all of that. You had mentioned some of the technology. 4K, talk to me about 4K because I hear a friend of mine has a 4K TV, loves it. It's bigger, it's brighter. What does it mean? Okay, so there's different resolutions of TVs. There's 720, which means 720 lines of picture. There's 1080, which is 1,080 lines. And there's 4K, which is 2,160 lines. Um, the more lines of resolution means the more image you're getting. Each line is more image. Um, it creates a sharper a sharper image. It's, it's a much better picture quality. It's a bigger, brighter picture for you. Absolutely, yes. So when someone comes in and they look at a 4K TV, do they need something special in their home? I mean, most people, you know, some watch over the air, some watch with cable, dish, files, direct. What do they need to make it the best it can be? Um, I mean, really, you just need... If you, if, it depends on what you're doing. If you like your Netflix and your YouTube and your Hulu and things like that, then you need it to be a smart TV or you need a Roku device, which is a streaming device you would attach to the TV to get those things. So with a smart TV, talk to me about that because those are like apps that go on the television as if you're taking what you see on the computer and bringing it to the TV screen. Right, absolutely. Um, like you would on your tablet or a smartphone. Some people have Netflix or um, YouTube, Hulu, all those things built on their cell phone. Now this gives you the ability to be able to put it on your TV. Um, you just link it to your Wi-Fi at home, HDMI cord from the back of the unit into the TV, and you're all set. What is Roku? It sounds like something Gilligan found on the island. Okay, so Roku is a third-party streaming device. If you have a non-smart TV, or even if you have a smart TV, you hook a Roku to it, um, link it to your Wi-Fi, and then to your TV, and you can download uh, up to 2,000 different apps on that device. So most people would actually go for the Roku because it has a Spectrum app. A lot of people around here are Spectrum users, and that, that'll benefit them. And if you're watching over the air, you sell the antennas too, and we're going to talk about that in another segment, so you can come in and connect your brand new television to the over-the-air signal. Absolutely, a lot of people are doing cord cutting. So. You have some other things here too. I noticed that the Atari flashback, and I know you have a new shipment of Nintendos. Talk to me about the gaming. Okay, so this is the older school generation likes to come in and, and see their old games. Um, these, the Atari has 106 preloaded games. It looks just like it used to, the same remote control and everything. Um, games like Pitfall and uh, Centipede, Space Invaders, things like that. Those are all preloaded right on and ready to go. And the Nintendo has 500 different games on it. All of your Super Mario Brothers and Ninja Turtles, Paperboy, all those preloaded ready to go. So the gamers, if you're out there, you can come on into Dirt Cheap TV and pick up a flashback game and you got the console right there. Absolutely, and two controllers so you can play with friends. 
For sound, I noticed you have some speaker devices. Uh, would those be sold separately so that you could attach them to the televisions for that theatrical experience? Absolutely. Um, they are they are sound bars you purchase separately. Um, they're going to give you much more of a movie quality sound. Better for sports, you'll hear more vocals. Um, you can play your music through them too, Bluetooth, and enjoy them around the house. You talked about sports. There's a big game we hear about that all about coming up. If you want to come in, if you had some extra cash from the holidays or you got your tax refund early, you'll help the customer find the best television to watch that live sporting event. Right, absolutely, and you know one that fits their needs. So, Mike, tell me about pricing because you've got the best prices on TVs from the smallest right up to the largest here. Right, absolutely. Um, starting at two fifty nine for a forty three inch four K. Um, I mean, all the way up through 80, but our 65 inches are 599, our 70 inches are 699. Uh, really good deals on it. Great deals, great deals. And we talked about the Atari flashback. We have a great deal on that as well. And speaking of flashbacks, we're going to take a look now at some of the best scenes from Bragging Rights from 2018. All right, this is a little bit of comedy sports, what improv is all about. Set us up. Yeah, this is the game of Hey Waiter, where you're going to see our players making up jokes off the tops of their heads. So give me a suggestion of an occupation, John. Uh, how about a Liberty Cab Driver? Liberty Cab Driver, Liberty Cab Driver. Your one line is, Hey Waiter, there's a Liberty Cab Driver in my soup. Ooh, Hey Waiter, there's a Liberty Cab Driver in my soup. Well, I guess that's what we get for having the chef having a checkered past. <laughs> Ooh, oh, my gosh. Hey, Waiter, there's a Liberty Cab in my soup. Don't worry, we won't charge you taxi for that. Ah, uh, hey, a waiter, there's a Liberty Cab in my soup. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. Hey, should we change it up? Yeah, let's switch it up. Give me a, a movie. A movie, how about this? How, um, I'll start with you, sir. Hey, waiter, there's a Godzilla in my soup. Oh, our waiter must have, or our chef must have used the Japan. Oh, uh, hey, waiter, there's a Godzilla in my soup. There you go. I think that's the winner right there. That's what comedy sports is all about. Where are you located? We're at Maine and Harlem in Amherst. All right, let's all scream. <laughs> I'm on a special edition of Bragging Rights with our friends from Polka Buzz, America's most requested, the Buffalo Touch on the red side. With what appears to be an extra player, and on the blue side, back in touch, the Buffalo Touch www.thebuffalotouch.com. They're missing one of their players. We'll find out why in just a little bit. Now, Taj, are you going to get back on the other side? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah you can get back on the other side, yeah, because they need yeah. you. They need you badly. He does have to, yeah. You can, you can, don't take your clothes off. No, you can take the red shirt off. Yeah, that's all right. My God, it's a family show. All right, I'm losing control. <laughs> I'm pulling out my son to see him going downtown. I'll be kissing your lips before the sun goes down. I ain't loving you, baby. I ain't loving you, baby. Team Nunzio. 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 And on the blue side, Team Vitale. Vitina. With the Actors Anonymous Theater Company. Come on over, we got uh, Vinny. You may have met him in a previous edition of Bragging Rights. So, hey Vinny, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good, Johnny. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm do I need one of these uh, gold chains to kind of yeah, fit in a little what? bit. I'm gonna do a little favor here and oh, put you on one on for you, okay? Great. Look at that, I feel, I feel I better already. Back to me later, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing. Oh, how beautiful. How about that? A little song. Petey, when you pump it up, I know Petey doesn't speak, but he, he told me secretly, because I was able to interpret it, the wave is very important. Richie Rich, let's start right over there, because our studio audience here at the Bragging Rights Studio, let's try to give it the wave. Give it the wave, everybody. Way oh, up Ooh. we go. There comes this part of the audience, and there they go. Over there. The wave. Very, very good. Oh my gosh, Petey. You know, there's nothing like a good wave, and that was nothing like a good wave. Yeah, okay. All right. We want to wrap up the experience of all of the Canisius games with a very special musical number that Petey will take us home. Joe Malucci and the band, take it away. Go to our website, wbbz.tv, to find out more about the show. Thanks to Dr. Barbara Irwin and everybody from Venetia's College who put these games together, all of our teams and contestants.
Welcome back to Bragging Rights. We're here at Dirt Cheap TV with my friend Mike Luna. Mike, this is brand new furniture. We've never talked about this on the show before. I've never heard about it. Came in today. Jerry says, look what we got. We got furniture. What do you got? Yep, so we have a, a bunch of uh, couches and love seats. Uh, we have some end tables and things like that. Um, futons, yeah, kitchen table even, um, bedroom sets, things like that. Yeah, so this furniture would be great in like in a man cave maybe even. Absolutely. You know, something like this was kind of red. Then you've got bar stools, so something for uh, for the kitchen even. Even, yeah. Yeah, we do. We have lamps, things like that. And I know for some of the furniture, this is something you can put in the bedroom and great to put the television on because it's, uh, they're like dressers if they, if you will. Yeah, yeah, dressers, the whole bedroom set, Night, nightstands, and, uh, full beds. So people who are out there thinking, well, I've never heard the Dirt Cheap TV having furniture, yeah. because we just have found out in the last couple of weeks this is brand new, right? Yes, it's, it's just before Christmas we got it in, so. So this is a great place. So when you have that extra cash and you're looking for something special to buy, and Dirt Cheap TV not only has the best prices on televisions and electronics, now they've got the best prices on furniture. And you'll work with the customer because you have a 90-day payment plan that you can work with. Right. It's actually a 90-day, no credit needed. Um, it's a national credit company. And, yeah, 90 days. Yeah. So if you need a little help in the payment, Dirt Cheap TV will help you at 90 days. And when you're buying electronics, you have that 90-day warranty, too. Right, so anything naturally goes wrong with the TV within 90 days, you just bring it right back and we swap you out with another one. Okay, so that's good to know when you're coming down 1600 Niagara Falls Boulevard, across from Trader Joe's. You know, in the last segment, uh, Mike, we talked a little bit about cord cutting and, and antennas. You have a lot of other electronics for people to buy, antennas being one of them. Right, absolutely. There are a lot of people getting over, oh, wait, uh, rid of the, the cable companies right now, so they are going to antennas. Um, we have amplified antennas, indoor, outdoor, 50 plus mile range, pretty nice. It's great, and if you want to watch WBBZ, got to have a VHF antenna, just so you know that. So if you hook that up to the television, you'll explain to the viewer how that works on the back of the TV. Right, absolutely. We'll show them top to bottom what they're going to need to do to get it to work. Okay, so when you're coming to Dirt Cheap TV, some of these items are off to the side, but you, you want to look for them. And you've got some other items here as well, in addition to the furniture and great televisions. And your team will work with the customer, so you can find out what they need, measure it out, and uh, can you call in and discuss what, what's available? Absolutely, yeah. You can either stop in or call us and we'll help you, you know, figure out exactly what you need. Right, so what's the phone number so if somebody's out there now and they want to give you a quick call just to find out what it's all about? 832-3565. 832-3565. 832-3565. And uh, give us the website too, Mike. Uh, DirtCheapTVs.com. DirtCheapTVs.com. You can find out all about it. All right, now in just a little bit, we're going to come back and select the winner for the three large screen TVs that we've been talking about all season. You're going to help me do that, Mike? Absolutely. All right, Mike's going to help out. But right now, we'll take another look back at some of the best of Bragging Rights. Hey, everybody, we are here ready to go. It's Superhero Night on Bragging Rights. Superheroes, supervillains, some really cool people who do some really cool things here in Western New York. And I'm going to introduce you on the red side to our Western New York Superhero Alliance heroes. <laughs> From Buffalo. And they're playing against the West New York Superhero Alliance villains. We represent uh, charity organizations during fundraising events uh, locally. Anything local that is helping children in need and those with uh, special needs, we like to help the most, but we're willing to spread the love and be at all events that we can make to help make Western New York a greater place. Good, you, I couldn't have said it better myself. Muhammad Ali fought Superman in a boxing match. Who won? A, Superman, B, Muhammad Ali, or C, it was a tie? I'm gonna go with B. You're gonna go with B? You are correct. It was Muhammad Ali, the greatest <laughs> of all time. The greatest boxer of all time. Muhammad Ali, and they got points up on the board. So I have a funny That's feeling I know who won, one, but Alex, confirm it for us. Who is the winner? It was Red Team 90. But the blue team came in a whopping 120 points. So the villains are the winners. What is this? <laughs> None other than Terry Buckwald, everybody. Say hi to Terry. Terry, look at you, looking so good. You dropped some weight. This is a whole new Terry Buckwald we've got here. Uh, I tell you, I thank my wife for that, man. She's, uh, she's got me on a good health kick. 
There you go. I'm doing the early years of Elvis right now. <laughs> now the last number one single by Elvis Presley was Suspicious Minds. What year did it hit the top of the charts? A, 1965, B, 1969, or C, 1973? Sixty-five, sixty-nine, or seventy-three? Suspicious mind, Sylvia. Hmm. I don't agree with you. I think it's sixty-nine. All right, we're going to go nineteen sixty-nine. B. We're caught in a trap. That's it, baby. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Was hoping they would get the Elvis question right right out of the box. Yeah. Yes. Right. I am alive, ladies and gentlemen, for another great edition of Bragging Rights, a very special Halloween edition as I come out of my own coffin. Hmm, a very unusual and scary experience. What was acclaimed horror director Alfred Hitchcock, what did he say he was most afraid of? A, dental floss, B, birds, or C, eggs? What was he most afraid of? Let's go with B. You're gonna go with B, birds. Ooh, I'm sorry. The correct answer is C, eggs. Yeah, he said eggs. I'm frightened. You have to do our best Alfred Hitchcock. I'm frightened of eggs. Worse than frightened, they revolt me. Heartbreak will tell you, will I know me? I'll be so lonely, baby. Sing it, John. I'll, I'll be, be so, so lonely. lonely. I'll, I'll be, be so, so lonely. lonely. I could die. die. It's all right. Wow. Egg die or cry? It's, it, it, it depends that, on how that, you're feeling. That, 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 I'm feeling strong, Terry. All Buck right, Buck. then cry. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these Hollywood stars did not serve in the military? A, Clark Gable, B, Jimmy Stewart, or C, Frank Sinatra did not serve in the military. Uh, C, Frank Sinatra. Terry? I did it my way. Frank Sinatra's right. Yeah, there you go. Hey. Terry? Yes, it's right. Spring. It's when they bloom. The lilacs are in bloom. All we right, played Kevin. the lilac festival a few times. Did you play that? How was it, Terry? Yeah, it was, was it? wonderful. Yeah. A lot of, it smelled really nice. I was just going to say it had <laughs> a lot of lilacs there. <laughs> mm, you, walk, you could walk like an walk Egyptian. Walk like an yeah. Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Bragging Rights. What has transformed into a show of great brilliance? I am Professor Megawatt, replacing that DeShulo character, and I'm here with our friend. And over there at the uh, scoreboard, Greg Hansen. Hello, Greg. Hello, Professor Megawatt. We're when... still here, ready to lend a hand. And I might add, Greg, you give them the white glove treatment everywhere you go. Red team, you're disappointing me, you're losing. <laughs> Next time you answer wrong, you'll drop and give me 10. You understand, no questions asked. Blaine was a drill sergeant earlier in life. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm oh, talking no, 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 Don't mess with, don't mess with it, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. Except Tony. Yeah. Blaine, it took a lot of guts to, to do that. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, what is it? That's amore. That's right. Yeah, there you go, they're great. Hey, Dan. Dan what? Everett, no. are you ready with the answers over there I, for this? Oh, am I ready? I am ready. No question about yeah, it. I get There you go. Dan Everett is in the house. All right, here we go. Can we play that spooky music again? I like that. <laughs> you know, that, you can use that music like if you're coming in late at night and your wife is upset with you. <laughs> wave your magic arms, Dan. Just wave, wave my magic arm? Yeah, wave them. Will something happen if I yes. do? Yes, yeah, they would. Yeah, there you go. Good. Okay, that'll clear the board. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Clear the room. This is a bow tie. Uh, Joe Malucci and the band got me this bow tie, and I was just so touched. And then we went on YouTube and decided we'd learn how to tie the bow tie. Yeah. And believe me, it's not an easy thing. Put this on. Where do we, where do we go from here? Because... Okay. Well, here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you. You're going to show it. me. Okay. Just like this. So, so you, you make a knot, and it's just like a regular old tie. But it has to be. It has to be some sort of. Yeah, some kind of. Yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go like that. Yeah. Making. Yeah. Make a knot. Sure. A knot. Okay. There you go. Made a knot. There you go. 
Now, with the one side of the tie. One side. Make it look like it's going to look like a bow tie. Make it look like it's a bow tie, like that. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, and then uh, take the other half. Take the other half. And put it over the top, like so. Put it over the top. Okay, good. Yeah, all right. So then it kind of looks like a bow tie there a little bit. Kind of looks like a bow tie with something yeah, on the top. Yeah, oh boy. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, oh boy. Maybe I should help you. Yeah. yeah let's do that. All right. So let's see. So you got that. And you do that like this. Mm -hmm. And then you put that over the top like so, kind of. Well, this isn't going to... Anyway, it's a, it's it, the best way. Can I tell you the best way to tie a bow tie? Yeah, but have a one that's pre pre done. Pre done. And then it clips to the thing. Bragging rights on WBBZ TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Welcome back to Bragging Rights. We're here at Dirt Cheap TV, 1600 Niagara Falls Boulevard. Mike, we're standing in front of this uh, beautiful projector. You've got projectors as well. Tell us why someone would come in and pick this up. Okay, so for outdoor movie nights or for the big, big screen theater rooms, sports events, things like that. So this is something that really creates that theatrical experience in your home or in your den. So as Jerry was saying, imagine bragging rights projected on the side of the house. Absolutely right. Your video games, your cable box, um, Blu-ray players, anything. And tell us about the different sizes and brands that you've got. Okay, so we have some Optimas, uh, Rico, Mitsubishi, Hitachis, um, high lumens, lower lumens, HDMI ready, everything. You say lumens, that would be the kind of the brightness? Brightness, exactly. Yep, the, the more the better. And you'll help the customer decide what would make sense for their home, and in addition to that, make sense on how it would be installed in their home. Absolutely. You can ceiling mount them, or you can put them on, the, on a stand, um, but we would explain it all. Yeah. So just like this, this is on a stand, and, and there's this, a big image in front of us, or something like that could be on the roof. You've seen them out you know, in people's homes where it's in the, in the theater. All right, so Jerry, uh, Mike, you're going to stay with us. Jerry says it's time to give away the TVs. Are you ready to do that? Yes, absolutely. Great. So projectors, all kinds of great stuff at Dirt Cheap TV. Come on with me, Mike. We're going to give away the TVs. All right, Mike, it's that time. Come on back. These TVs uh, that we had set up. What are the uh, contestants going to win? What kind of television is it? So it's a 50-inch 4K smart TV with HDR. So it's got a little brighter picture for your gamers and movie watchers. So this is a really great prize. So all of the winning teams from Bragging Rights for 2018 are here in this elegant bowl. And uh, we cut up the slips right from the computer. So, Mike, dig deep, pull one slip out. All right, I've got it right here in my hand. Whoop. I'm going to read it for you. So the winning team for Bragging Rights from January 30th in 2018, and those teams included our friends from Tony and Tina's wedding, those winners from that show win these televisions, and we're going to show them picking up their TV and having a great time with that as bragging rights continues. And if you want to find out how you could become a contestant, you go to WBBZ.TV, click the bragging rights icon, the email comes right to me. We schedule our tapings at the WBBZ studio in the Eastern Hills Mall. Bring your friends, bring your uh, bring competitors, bring your neighbors. We're having a lot of fun with bragging rights, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. and other times on our station schedule, and every winning team becomes eligible for one of these great TVs. Mike, thanks for uh, showing us all about Dirt Cheap TV. Oh, no, no problem. Anytime. All right, and these winners, you're, they're going to come in and thank you. Very good. Yeah, I look forward to seeing them. All right, they're going to come in and pick up their TVs. You'll see them in a little bit. Thanks for watching WBBZ-TV, your hometown, me TV station.